Hey guys, here I am in front of the school. This is incredible. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. And tomorrow I heard it's going to be even more beautiful. Well, hello, my fellow Wagsters. I just, this is Pastor Sway checking in. Have you checked in with anybody this week? Well, listen, I just wanted to let you know that we do have an exciting time for you today. Uh, we've got a, uh, a story from someone you might know, and they're right in there. Are you ready to go check it out? Come on, let's go do it. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Hi, hey, how's it going, kids? I'm just counting the sheep. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That's great. All of my sheep are there in the beautiful pen that I made for them. Hi, I'm Jabel the shepherd, and these are my 100 sheep. Aren't they amazing? I just love them. There's little Flossie. She's so beautiful. She was born last spring. And we have little Bunny here. He's a good boy. And I love all of my sheep. And I take care of them. Do you like the beautiful fence that I built around my sheepfold? It is to keep them safe. In the day... We go out, I open the gate to the I open the gate to the sheepfold, and the sheep come out and they follow me wherever I go. I say, Come, Flossie, come bunny, come blackie, come blanca, and away come the sheep. We go down into the valley and the sheep follow me. But I'm a careful shepherd. I'm always looking for poisonous plants. <gasps> There's one right there. I have to move it away from my sheep. Or poisonous snakes. I take my staff and I hit it on the ground. Smack, 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 and all the snakes leave. And the snakes of uh, the sheep come out into the beautiful meadow to graze. Aren't they beautiful, boys and girls? This is the first set of ten. And they listen to me whenever I say tahoo, that means that they are to follow me. Tahoo. And then if I see some wolves off in the distance, I'll say, la, la, and the sheep lay down. They're such good listeners. The sheep are listening to the shepherd, and they are laying down. Oh, wow. I love the sheep. If one of them gets a cut, well, you know what I do, boys and girls? I get a bandage and I bandage the sheep up. Or I might even pour oil on their heads. I love them. At nighttime, all of the sheep have to go back into the sheepfold because we don't want any wolves to get the sheep. Wolves will eat sheep. And we don't want that to happen. 
So it's getting to be dark now. And the sheep need to go back to the sheepfold. And you know what I do, boys and girls? I count the sheep again to make sure, whoops, one of them has a leg that's not doing too good. I'll fix it. No problem. There, that was little Frosty. He was ha had a sore leg. And I, the sheep get up and go back into the sheepfold. Well, well, when I get them all into the sheepfold, then I count them again because I want to make sure that I have all of my sheep. Up, oh, the door is closed. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40 sheep, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Isn't it great that I have those 90? Now 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh no, one of my sheep is missing. What will I do? Oh, I could go in and lay down and relax, but I can't. I must go to find my one lost sheep. Oh, I will retrace our steps. I'll go and I'll call for the one lost sheep. Little lamb, little lamb, where are you little lamb? I'll go back past the poisonous plant, over here, little lamb, little lamb. And I hope that I'll hear little lamb call. Oh no, I can't wait. I have to find my lost sheep. Where could little lamb be? Maybe over here, little lamb, little lamb. I just can't sleep. I have to find my one lost sheep. Where could, where could she be? Oh, little lamb. Then I hear, ba, ba. I get happy. I think, where's little lamb? Looking and looking and looking. And then I see little lamb caught in the thicket. Oh no, come little lamb. And I press little lamb against my heart. I'm so happy that I found little lamb and I want to take her back to the sheepfold and I hold her close to my heart because I love her so much. And then I walk all the long way back to the sheepfold. Yes, and then I put little lamb back with her mommy. <gasps> now I'm so happy. I recap my sheep, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Yes, I'm so happy. And now I can take a rest and eat a bowl of soup. And you know what, boys and girls? The shepherd is just like Jesus. Yes. Every one of us is so precious to Jesus. And Jesus, he is a God that counts the hairs on our head. And he, does, he is not willing that one of us would perish. And you know what, boys and girls? He gave his life up. He gave his life up for each one of us on the cross of Calvary. And he would have he would have done that even if he was going to save just one of us. So he loves us very very much. And you know what? This story also means that in all of of God's creation there was only one world 
that became sinful. And you know what? Jesus had to set down his crown in heaven and come to this earth so that he could live among us and then die for us on the cross. So don't we have a wonderful Savior, boys and girls? He is the sh our, sh our good shepherd. So we'll pray now, and I hope you enjoyed the story. Dear Jesus, thank you for the wonderful story of the lost sheep. Thank you, dear Father, for allowing Jesus to come and rescue us from this world of sin. And as we wait for the second coming, Lord, help us to learn more about him. And please send the Holy Spirit upon each child that hears my voice. And I pray that we might, might all determine to have a closer walk with him. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> I've got to say, I really do enjoy Mrs. Murtaugh's stories. She's got some incredible stories. I mean, all the sheep. And guess what? That story is also found in the Bible. It's the story of the lost sheep. And do you know who is the, the good shepherd? The shepherd who looks out for the sheep? It's Jesus. Jesus is the good shepherd and he loves us. And who are the sheep? If Jesus is the shepherd, who are the sheep? What was that? Huh? That's right. I heard one of you say, we're the sheep. You're the sheep. You're the sheep. You're the sheep. I'm the sheep. We're Jesus' sheep. And Jesus just is so loving. Well, listen, right now I'm here at the playground, okay, at the school. And so... Uh, we're going to move on uh, to uh, Mrs. Sharon's crafts. Are you excited? Because I am. I can't wait to see what she comes up with. All right? We'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to get here on the seesaw. Talk to you later. Welcome back, boys and girls, to our another week of uh, Wild About God and the crafts that we're going to be continuing to make for our Kidsville town. So far, we've done our, our person. That was our first craft. And then we did our house, if you remember that, from our second craft. Last week, we made the boat. And this week, we're going to make two things. We're going to make signs and trees. We have two kinds of trees here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Move these out of the way here. Okay, so we sent your parents templates with the different signs. So there are these signs you might see when you're out on the road. You've got your one ways, your don't turn, your throw your trash away. Then we have this set of signs, which again would be familiar. You've got your yield signs and your stop signs, and we did the one with the bicycle. So I'm going to make the one today with the stop sign. So with your template, you can cut out around the signs and they should be connected in the middle like this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take our popsicle stick. I'm using smaller ones today, but you could use the bigger ones as well. And we're going to turn the sign over after we've cut it out. And we're going to take our glue stick and put glue all over the inside of the sign, making sure we get most of it covered because we want to be able to put the sign on top of the stick, but also so we want it to glue to the stick and then 
also to itself so that you have a stop sign on both sides. So then what we want to do is take our clay if you have some or some play-doh and we want to cut a piece. You can make sure it's just nice and flat and then we can take our sign and push it down into the clay. So now you have a stop sign with stop on both sides. Okay, now we have the next we have the two trees. So the way that I did the trees was the first one you can see is a triangle so you can draw your triangle and you can cut that out. Now the way I did this tree is I just made it round like if you were drawing a cloud just a bunch of round or a flower I guess but you could make it fatter and it doesn't have to be even and then you can just cut around that so it gives you a, a fuller tree instead of a what would look like an evergreen tree with the, the triangle and you can cut them both out and make both and you can make more than than one because you're going to be putting trees and signs in your kids bill there's a lot of round parts here I'm going to cut that off there, there we go Now this one, because we're making it ourselves, it doesn't have the flap to fold over. So as you can see, it's just a tree on one side. But we're going to take our popsicle stick and we're going to lay it on top of the tree. And then we need our tape. And we're going to put the popsicle stick almost all the way to the top. We're going to break off some tape and we're going to tape it on there. Okay, so we have our tree right here. Then we're going to take our clay again. We're going to cut another piece. And make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, and then you can stick your tree right in there. So today we've made the stop sign, which is on both sides, and the tree, which is only on one side. And the template that we sent out to your parents has a, a lot of signs you can choose from. You don't have to make them all, but you can pick as many as you like. And the trees, they're easy, temp they're easy um, shapes. So you can make as many of them as you want, and we'll be able to put them around our town. So remember to keep all of your, your parts so that at the end we can finish up our town when we make our street and land. So we have our house, our boat, our person, and now our trees and our signs. So I really hope you're enjoying this Wild About God series that we're doing for you. We, we love you so much and we know that God loves you so much and we just want you to uh, have an, a good time while you're thinking about him and a good time while you're learning about him and a great time while you're wi being wild about God. Well, here I am still at the playground playing around. But wasn't that great? I really like to see what she comes up with. She keeps adding more, Mrs. Mrs. Sharon with her craft. She keeps adding more details to the story. And you know what? I really like being able to cut things and glue them and put them together and, and out of simple supplies, create something new. Guess what? You can make stories yourself. You can actually record them with a camera, with a phone, and be able to tell stories to friends. 
I'm hoping that some of you will record some stories and you'll send them to me. You can send them to my email, J-O-S-U-E, the number four, P-R, at gmail.com. I'd love to see what stories you can come up with. All right, now it's time for us actually to do something that we did last time. Do you remember what we did towards the uh, ending part? We had a quiz. And so now it's time for quiz time. And I'll give you a hint. This week's quiz has to do with Bible heroes. All right, so get ready. Here we go. So, how did you do with your quiz on Bible heroes? Did you get them all right? Oh, I think some of you did. And some of you may have gotten one wrong, but that's okay. That's an opportunity for us to get back into the Bible and read about God's heroes. You know, the Bible is full of heroes. And that's exciting because each one of those heroes exercised faith. They trusted in God. And you know what the wonderful thing is? We can trust in God too. 
God wants to do wonderful things in our lives. I got a question. Are you a hero? Can God trust you? And that you could share your faith with someone else? Else? And does that make you a hero? Well, in God's eyes, it does. It really, really does. So I'm just excited that we get to spend a little bit of time together. And right about now, I think it's time for a song. Wasn't that music great? The Harrison sisters always do a wonderful job when it has to do with music and other things as well. Those girls are talented. Well, here I am in front of the church and I gotta tell you something. Every time I come to church, I wanna pray. I really wanna pray. So why don't we end with a word of prayer together? Can we do that? Let's pray. Father God, I am just so thankful, Lord, that we get to meet. I'm thankful, Lord, that WAG exists and that we have this opportunity to learn to become wild about you. I pray to your Father that you might bless each boy and girl who's listening to me right now. I pray to your Father for the time that they have to know you, to pray, to sing, to do crafts, to hear stories, to read the Bible, and to learn more about Jesus. I pray to Father that you would keep each and every one of them safe and that none of them would get sick. Heavenly Father, we want Jesus to come back soon so that we can be ready for his coming. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week, my fellow Wagsters. Bye.